Hi guys, what's up? I am back for another video. I've been gone for a couple weeks. I went home to graduate. I came back. I got a new roommate. I rearranged a lot of stuff and I'm preparing to leave Austin again in like two months to move to another city. So it's been kind of crazy. In that time I was gone though, I did get a whole bunch of books. So today I'm going to be doing a book haul for you guys, which I did recently, but as we know, I have a book buying problem. So I got a whole bunch more books since the last book haul to show you. The first book that I have to show you guys is The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. I have read this book before. I've also seen the movie. I am in love with this book. And while I probably won't reread it because I am really scared that rereading it will cause the initial emotion and feeling that I had with the first time that I read it and the first time that I saw the movie to dissipate or it just, it just won't be the same because I know what's coming. I still wanted a copy of it on my shelf and I found the paperback copy for a reasonable price at a used bookstore so I decided to pick it up and just add it to my collection. The next book I have to show you is another young adult book and it is Me Earl and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews. This book is about a boy who his mother finds out that one of his classmates has cancer and he forces her to kind of befriend her because she's dying and has cancer and all these problems. So I guess it's kind of their story. Um, I know that the movie is coming out soon for this book and I wanted to read the book before I went and saw the movie so I found it and I picked it up. I have heard amazing things about this book so I'm really anticipating some good things with it and hopefully I will get to it before the movie comes out because I anticipate it being a pretty quick read. The next book on my list is one that I am probably the most excited about out of all of the books that I have acquired for this haul and it is Saint Anything by Sarah Dessen. This is Sarah Dessen's new book. It came out earlier this month and I am pretty sure it's the only book that I have contemplated thus far whether I would give up getting groceries and food for myself so I could live like a normal human or whether I would get the hardback edition of this book because Sarah Dessen is probably one of my favorite authors across the board. I have always really been in love with her work and I really wanted the new book and I mentioned on Facebook that um, I was considering whether or not this book was worth giving up groceries for and my friends um, father bought it for me as a graduation gift, so that was amazing, and now I have it in my collection, and I am so incredibly excited, and um, it is the next book that I will be reading, and hopefully I will finish it quickly, and then get a review up for you guys for it, because I am anticipating nothing but, nothing but brilliance. I don't think there has been a Sarah Dessen book yet that I have disliked, so very excited for this. Very, 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 very excited for this book. The last two books that I have to show you guys are both adult books. The first one is a romance book, so it does involve some mature themes. So if you're younger, it's probably not a book for you. The next book I have to show you is Of Silk and Steam by Becca McMaster. This book is part of a series, I believe it is the fourth book, but I could be wrong. I think I'm missing a book in between, so this might actually be the fifth book. The first book in the series is called Kiss of Steel and it focuses on a town in London during the steampunk era that has creatures, I guess I would call them, but the town is essentially run by like vampires and their consorts and all other creatures are shunned and a good majority of the town lives in extreme poverty. And each of the books focuses on a different character throughout the town. Um, so this book focuses on Lady Armenia and the um, character Leo, who I feel is like the only character who actually transfers over from book to book pretty well. Um, and it reads a lot into Leo's lineage and his legitimacy as a son of the person who was recently ruling the like town kingdom, I guess is a good way to describe it area um so it goes into that and then obviously because it's a romance there's some awesome love plots running through this book 
and some betrayal is a nice nice little subset she has in here and just a lot of amazing things she is one of my favorite romance authors for steampunk things so um i'm interested to see where this goes i wasn't a huge fan of the last book that i read in this series but i am hoping that she picks it back up with this book so we'll see how it goes the last book i have to show you guys is the second book in a series so i'm not going to give a ton on description because spoilers but the book is Dragonfly in Amber by Diana Gabaldon and it is the second book in the Outlander series. I am currently reading Outlander and I am currently very obsessed with Outlander. It is so good and when I finish it I will be putting a review up on this channel for you guys to see because I have a lot of thoughts and I've actually been writing them down this time so that will be that will be helpful in forming a coherent, a coherent review for you. This book focuses on the life of Claire and kind of dives into some of the secrets that she has and I guess that's about all, about all I can say about this one without spoiling a lot. A lot. If you haven't read it, I would highly suggest it. Again, there are mature themes in I'm assuming this book and definitely the first book so just be aware of that when you're going to read it if it is not your thing then that is all right whatever floats your boat I would still highly recommend it so those are all of the books that I have to show you guys today if you guys have read any of the books and would like to share your thoughts with me down in the comments below that would be awesome I love to hear what you guys have to say about these books and it kind of gives me an idea of what to expect when I go into reading them so yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments below. I will be back with more content next week. I promise I will not abandon you for another like month without any sort of this. So I will also be uploading a fun video introducing my new roommate and having some fun with Olivia. So check out my other channel for some cool, cool stuff like that. Otherwise, I will see you next time guys, bye.